I regret everything about being left in the desert last episode. After we conquered the ocean monument last episode, I spent a lot of time in the desert. I now have a full inventory of sand. Every one of these nine shulkers in my hot bar is full of sand. And why? Well, to drain this ocean monument, of course. But guess what? You don't need to do that. There are farm designs out there that you do not need to drain an ocean monument for. But we are not going to get to that right away. It is December, which means we are getting close to Christmas, and I am in charge of the Autocraft Christmas District. Ow. We need to go and get everyone signed up and collaboratively build the Christmas District together. But before we do that, I want to do that typical YouTuber thing where I ask you to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Now, before we can actually get a Christmas District on the way, well, we need to find a spot for it. And I have found us a nice little snowy plains and I've hooked us up across this perilous looking pathway. At the end of it, we will find our Christmas district to be, and I am on tender hooks every time I come down here. And we're gonna cross plenty of lava lakes, go through crimson forests, and even past a fortress, which I will fly by very swiftly and hope that blazes do not shoot me. And obviously all the hoglins want to kill me. So we just have to keep running, keep our head down and keep running. You'll notice there is absolutely no F5 camera here, but it's just panic mode and, and get there. I think what we'll do in the not too distant future is move this portal up onto the nether roof and make an ice track over it, make it Christmassy themed. You know, it makes sense, right? But for now, it's logistical that we can actually get there without having to fly 4,000 blocks. Although it feels like I've been walking forever, but there is light at the end of the tunnel. And here we have it. We have a very nice snowy plains biome, which is currently filled with mobs. And I didn't get a very good spawn with the portal before. I actually got left in a cave which I think is kind of underneath here. So yeah, that didn't really go too well. I had to fight my way up. So hence all these mobs being here. But I think this is a nice friendly plot of land for everyone to, blow me now that enderman scared me. But this is a nice friendly plot of land for everyone to start building on. But in order for everyone to know about it and to know what they can build, we should probably get somewhere that they can sign up to it and start it out. So we have a globe, but it's not really a snow globe just yet, is it? So this will be our interior we need to put together and we need to get ourselves inside something like this. I'm going to put that one back so the pumpkin guy snow golem, there we go, I'll get out eventually, doesn't escape, we go boop and he is going to survive and he's going to fill it up for us, there we go, absolutely perfect there. And well, yeah, I need to fill out an interior and we're just going to close these doors and poof, just like that, we are complete with a nice little spruce tree in the background. We have a few little custom banners like Santa's outfit here and a nice little Christmas tree head inside and we're keeping it really, really simple because the whole purpose of this is for two things. One, we want people to sign up for our secret Santa and we're gonna leave them a book so they can all leave their names. And Autocraft members need to sign up very quickly so we can organize that. And hopefully in our next episode, we'll be able to see what secret Santa will bring us. On the other side, we have our Christmas district builds. And inside here are a whole host of ideas for people to build so they can come along, grab a piece of paper that are in here and go and build it in our Christmas district. Now, I've just got a couple of things I want to do here. So what we want to do is just trigger these to be invisible. And I don't know where I've ended up looking, but there we go. We've just got a small banner on the wall and it's hidden. It's quite a nice little touch. We've got Christmas district builds. So yeah, they're all in there. And we'll do the same on this side. Trigger if invisible. And this is a server side data pack that not every server has 
but hey ho we do and there we have it the snow globe is now complete but we could probably do with creating a little more decoration on the outside here right so let's add a couple of candy canes around here so we're just going to use some red terracotta and some smooth quartz blocks and just kind of pillar up a little here one more and then try and make an arch over there and then something like that so it just helps frame the snow globe there and if we add one more maybe up here we go again terracotta quartz block terracotta quartz block terracotta stairs terracotta and stairs and i've got a fair amount of snow so we can place that in two we should probably disrupt this path as well unfortunately and bring it down let's go somewhere down like this and then if we go and add a load of snow blocks snow layers i guess rather than the snow blocks we can just add that decoration around the edges here and obviously with the snow layers as well we can kind of customize some of that so let's just finish this off now i actually need to go and get myself a load of levels to name some custom pieces of paper so people know what to build in the christmas district so how about we go and finish off that guardian farm at our ocean monument we conquered last episode So you can see now from that time lapse that the Guardian Farm is up and running and I have been at this a little while, you can see I'm at level 97. I have enough levels now to go back towards Starter Town and get everyone their pieces of paper with their builds on. There's a few improvements that I'd like to do to this farm and I've started kind of coming over this way. I want to automate, I want to sort it into each of the item part. Now speaking of automatic storage. Let's see what I've been up to over at our base. Redstone and redstone contraptions don't really make for very good time lapses. When we first built this build for our base, I mentioned at the side here how I wanted to integrate this into some automatic storage. And I have done just that. So you can see underneath these two chests there are hoppers. And if I enter Cheaty Cheaty Free Cam and just go down here we'll see a bit of a contraption going on and all we have going on here is a shulker and loader and my shulkers will go into this chest here in front of me and normal items that are just in my inventory can go into this chest and it will all end up in the same system once the shulkers have been sorted and emptied the items out of the shulker will come out of this hopper chain shulkers will go up into this dropper elevator and we'll end up in this barrel i just need to do a bit of tidying up around here and try and blend it into the base now downstairs is where all the magic is set to happen i've built this i've played around with it but i haven't put in any of the filters this is my new automatic storage system and i am really really happy with this for those that have followed my content you know that storage for me is so important i like to be organized i like to know where my stuff is and in building this i will know exactly where it is so so this is the end of the hopper chain from the shulker loader and i need to kind of get that in i don't really want to have too many more hoppers because we don't want to add a load of lag there are a lot of droppers and observers in this system so the more lag friendly we can make this the better so i'm thinking we'll put a dropper here and a water system into the setup over there so on the left is just my bulk storage and it'll allow me to go down but kind of the floor level is where at is where we will be that'll be all of our stone cobble cobble deep slate and all of that jazz and then all across here is my multi-item storage system 
So for those that are followers of Hermitcraft, I forgot I did not have my elytra on right there, my poor ankles. For those of you who are fans of Hermitcraft, this was the same system that Cubfan used in his massive pyramid in Season 7 that he called Chibulba. I don't have the same level of customization that he put in with, I think he added some extra features onto this. But the original sorting system comes from Rapscallion and this is version 4. And he has the newer version since, however I found his tutorial to be the best with this, it was more explanatory, so you kind of knew what was going on. So each segment here, this is two wide tileable as you can see, he does now have a one wide tileable system. Up here is our item filter, currently it's just full of these block items that will just take the spaces. We have a filter underneath it here. And this will obviously be where our items will come through, it will cycle through this system, look to see if it's in this chest, pass down the system if it is. And if it isn't, it will keep going through, keep going through and keep going through until it reaches the end. And then what we have at the very end here is just all the items that won't be filtered. And on this very end part is what they'll call an overflow. So if there's too many items in the system, which is pretty well protected, there is a clock behind that system here, which kind of slows down the system and allows for one item at a time. And just, you know, it's all hopper speed, so there shouldn't really be an overload, but we've got an overflow system over there. So everything that doesn't get filtered will go into here. And uh, really that's something for me to play around between episodes because I don't really know how my storage is going to work, don't know what I want yet in each of these filters, but I am a happy chappy that I now have automatic storage. I can get rid of all the shulkers that I've had laying about scattered across starter base and my industrial area and anywhere else I've been building. We can go throw it all into the system, stay around for a little while and it'll all be sorted. Now that is going to be all for today's episode. I really hope you've enjoyed what we've done we've crammed a lot into this episode and i'm so happy with the storage room and the guardian farm i hope you're looking forward to lots of building because next episode we are going to be working on the christmas district if you've enjoyed this video like the video subscribe to the channel and i look forward to seeing you next time